Solving quadratic equations by quadratic formula. Good day everyone. Today I will discuss another method for solving quadratic equations. The quadratic formula. Before we proceed with the topic let us have a short recall. Given the problem. Identify the value of a, b, and c of 2x square minus 3x plus 5 is equal to 0. In identifying the values of a, b, and c of the given equation, make sure it is in a standard form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Based on the given equation, the equation is in standard form. Let us now ready to identify the values of a, b, and c of the given equation. The value of a is equal to, the value of b is equal to negative 3, and the value of c is equal to 5. This is how you identify the value of a, b, and c in a quadratic equation. Here is the quadratic formula. x is equal to negative b, positive and negative square root of, b square minus 4, multiplied by a, multiplied by c, over 2 multiplied by a. Keep this quadratic formula in mind, as we continue our discussion. In using a quadratic formula here are the following steps to follow. Step 1. Set the equation in standard form a, x square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Step 2. Identify the corresponding value of a, b, and c. Step 3. Use the quadratic formula and substitute the given values. Step 4. Solve the resulting quadratic equation by using the quadratic formula. Step 5. Solve the resulting linear equations. Lastly, step 6. Check the solutions obtained against the original equation. These are steps in using a quadratic formula in solving quadratic equations. Let us have example number 1. Solve the roots of the equation 4x square minus 1 is equal to 3x using the quadratic formula. Step 1. Set the equation in standard form. As you can see the given equation is not in standard form. 3x is not in its proper location. We need to transpose 3x to the other side of the equation. Using the addition property of equality. To perform the addition property of equality. We need to add the inverse of positive 3x. The inverse of positive 3x is negative 3x. Then, we add negative 3x on both sides of the equation. So, we have 4x square minus 3x minus 1 is equal to, 3x minus 3x. Then, we have 4x square minus 3x minus 1 is equal to, 3x minus 3x, is equal to 0. Then, the standard form of the given equation is 4x square minus 3x minus 1, is equal to 0. Step 2. Identify the corresponding value of a, b, and c. The value of a, is equal to 4. The value of b, is equal to negative 3, and the value of c is equal to negative 1. Step 3. Use the quadratic formula and substitute the given values. The quadratic formula is x is equal to negative b, positive and negative, square root of b square, minus 4, multiplied by a, multiplied by c, over 2 multiplied by a. Let us now substitute each needed value of the formula. So, we have x is equal to negative, substitute the value of b, which is negative 3, positive and negative square root of substitute the value of b, which is negative 3, then square minus the 4, multiplied by the value of a, which is 4 multiplied by the value of c which is negative 1, over 2 multiplied by the value of a, which is 4. Step 4. Solve the resulting quadratic equation by using the quadratic formula. Then, x is equal to, negative times negative 3 is equal to positive 3. Positive and negative square root of, Simplify the negative 3 square, then it is equal to positive 9. Minus the product of negative 4, times 4, times negative 1, is equal to positive 16. Over the product of 2, times 4, is equal to, 8. Then, we have x, which is equal to 3, positive and negative square roots of. The sum of the square root of 9 plus 16, is equal to, the square root of 25, over 8. Then, we have x is equal to 3 positive and negative the square root of 25 is equal to 5 over 8 step 5 solve the resulting linear equations let us split the equation so we have x is equal to 3 plus 5 over 8 and the other equation is x is equal to 
3 minus 5, over 8. Let us solve now the value of x. So, we have x is equal to, 3 plus 5 is equal to 8, over 8. Then, x is equal to, 8 divided by 8, is equal to 1. Therefore, x is equal to 1. Let us also solve the other value of x. We have, 3 minus 5, is equal to, negative 2, over 8. Then, x is equal to, negative 2, over 8. Or simply negative 1 over 4. The other value of x is equal to, negative 1 over 4. Therefore, the solutions or roots of the given equation is, 1, and negative 1 fourth. Step 6. Checking. Let us now check if the values of x are the solutions of the given equation. Let x be equal to 1. Get the original equation, which is 4x square minus 1 is equal to 3x. Let us substitute the value of x, which is 1. We have 4 substitute the value of x which is 1. Then square minus 1 is equal to 3. Substitute the value of x, which is 1. Then, let us simplify the term that has an exponent. 4 multiplied by 1 square is equal to 1. Minus 1 is equal to 3 times 1. Let us solve the product of each term. So, we have 4 times 1 is equal to 4. Minus 1 is equal to 3 times 1 is equal to 3. Therefore, we have 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. 4 minus 1 is equal to 3 is equal to 3. Therefore, 3 is equal to 3. Let us have the negative 1 fourth. Let x be equal to negative 1 fourth. Get the original equation which is 4x square minus 1 is equal to 3x. Let us substitute the value of x which is negative 1 fourth. Then, we have 4 substitute for the value of x which is negative 1 fourth. Square minus 1 is equal to 3 multiplied by substituting the negative 1 fourth. Now, let us simplify the term that has a square. Then, we have 4 times the square of negative 1 fourth is equal to 1 over 16. It is just simply 1 square is equal to 1 times 1 is equal to 1. And 4 square. It is simply 4 times 4 is equal to 16. Minus 1 is equal to 3 times negative 1 fourth. Let us get the product of each term. Then, we have 4 times 1 over 16 is equal to 4 over 16. Just multiply 4 by the numerator which is 1. So, the product is 4 over 16. Minus 1 is equal to, 3 multiplied negative 1 fourth is equal to negative 3 over 4. In the same process, we only multiplied 3 in the numerator which is 1 so we have a negative 3 over 4. Then, we must simplify 4 over 16 to its reduced form which is 1 over 4. Just find a number that can be divided by numerator and denominator. The number is 4. Therefore, if we divide 4 by 4, then, is equal to 1. And 16 divided by 4 is equal to 4. So, we have 1 fourth. Minus 1 is equal to negative 3 over 4. To subtract 1 fourth minus 1. Get their LCD. So, the LCD is 4. Multiply 4 to 1 then divide by 4 the result is 1. Then, 4 multiplied by negative 1 is equal to negative 4. Is equal to, negative 3 over 4 performed subtraction on the numerator. So, 1 minus 4 is equal to, negative 3. Then, copy 4 as the denominator. Is equal to negative 3 over 4. Therefore, we have a negative 3 over 4. Is equal to negative 3 over 4. Therefore, 1 and negative 1 fourth is a solution of the given equation. For more videos on mathematics, please don't forget to subscribe.